Hello there, this is Carla. Welcome to another um, quick tutorial. This is um, Maya bait, and what we're going to try and do is show you how to create fur um, within Maya to add to your characters or objects or whatever you're creating uh, via Maya um, to give them that sort of uh, look of realism. Now, I've already created a, just a little demo of something, um, and I've just um, thrown it into um, Nuke just to um, show you roughly the sort of um, effects um, that you're looking at creating um, with the fur uh, with the fur tool um, in Maya uh, 2015 so as you can see you know it's not be, it's been rendered but obviously you know it's been put into Nuke just to show you it actually moving um, let's just get a bigger view here for you guys um, just to show you it moving and 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 just show you how actually real this actual fur actually looks and this is just by adding a simple um, fur um, fur effect or expression fur expression from Maya um, onto a nerve basically or onto a primitive so um, I'll just quickly show you how you can sort of do this and how it basically works so I'm just going to shut uh, nuke down I'm not going to save that and I'm just going to um, let's just close nuke again I'm just going to open up Maya, and obviously we've got the 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 Maya template. So um, basically, what we're going to do is I'm just going to create a uh, sphere um, as a primitive, and I'm just going to bring it in. And um, creating fur and working with fur is quite simple um, to do in Maya, um, but obviously for each primitive that you make, you're going to have to add the fur element um, to the actual object separately so um, up here obviously by default um, it's set to um, this uh, uh, scenario um, so you can select on the polygon system and along the menu system here if you go to um, the, 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 the set that's main fur here you're presented with loads of different um, examples of basically what you're looking at and to know what you're looking at obviously it, it tells you down here at the bottom when you go over each individual um, section or individual icon it tells you exactly what it is so say for instance um, I've got my um, my nerve object here what I can do is if I create a plane as well and just just bring this here like this I can actually create two different sections of fur on obviously two different objects if I wanted to so with the NURB selected so for instance I wanted to use one of my um, pre-selections I can just cl click on Gorilla um, but you'll notice that nothing's actually happened there's nothing there so if you run into that problem all you have to do is come up to your renderer and select your render engine engine from viewport 2.0 to either legacy or legacy high quality render but I do uh, recommend uh, legacy default uh, default view viewport sorry so here obviously it's um, added the basic for element but obviously you can't sort of appreciate what it is until it's rendered so if I just quickly um, open up my renderer and just quickly render that piece as you can see um, it looks a lot more obviously realistic um, than it does on the actual um, setup itself. It's because obviously, as you know, if you use Maya, uh, nothing looks real until it's rendered. So um, let's just reselect this, and we're going to scroll across, and we're going to select on our gorilla, um, uh, our gorilla fur. And if you sort of scroll down, okay, all these are basically the various settings um, of your um, your fur element. So obviously you've got your base color um, you know you can change um, the fur to whatever sort of color you want uh, within this and also it's, it's great for making grass by the way as well and I'll, and I'll just explain to you how you would actually do that anyway so if I just keep that to black um, if we come down here obviously it's basically self-explanatory um, the different um, sort of settings we've got here so obviously we've got length so if I just turn it up obviously the length of my hair goes up but look how great Maya works it you know the center point here 
it, it does it as um as it's meant to it's like a sort of realistic um what's it called like a crown if you want if uh, that's much of the word so let's just go up a little bit and what we do is just re-render it and i'll just show the difference so um if we just re-render that as you can see it's given us a really sort of crazy sort of furball look um, but you can sort of come down and you've got obviously the baldness which is if you sort of bring this down obviously baldness is exactly what it says on the tin the lower you have it the bolder the actual object is going to be um, and then you've sort of got the roll so rolling is basically the direction um, circular um, that you would you you know you want your hair to go so if I sort of bring this here um, and then just increase that um, you can sort of bring your polo around so it's a lot more sort of crazy uh, your base opacity so basically the base opacity is the hair closest to the actual uh, actual object so if you just bring this up like this um, you can sort of you know play around with the various settings with the fur to sort of get it looking as real as as you possibly can really to whatever object you're creating so again I'll just render this out very quickly and you can you'll be able to see a vast difference um, in the way the sort of fur uh, looks now obviously it's like what I was just saying you know you can create grass sort of elements which is very very cool so um, if I just select this one which is grass and then click on it obviously as you can see it's given us a sort of grass look there so when we re-render that re-render that it's given us a grass um, environment on the actual um, nerve itself on the actual primitive itself so again you know you can you know you select your grass you can play around with the length of the grass make it short you know you can you know make it in different this is making it go in different sort of directions um, your baldness so if you bring this all the way to the top then obviously if we re-render again you, you know you're gonna have more grass in the scene and also you can sort of animate this grass as well um, if you if you wish um, so if, if I just try and do it um, go to the length um, I can sort of bring this down here like that let's see if this will work I want to bring this in and as you can see all these icons have changed so I'm just gonna move this up to say 70 frames and then I'm just gonna bring my length up like so and then hit a keyframe again hopefully as you can see what we've done is just animated that piece of grass sort of growing like so so you can create some real sort of stunning effects it's not that you're not only limited to that you can sort of go here um, click on your keyframe again go up and then you can sort of have it let's have a look here um, sort of moving around like that hit stopwatch again and then you've got another sort of piece of animation of the grass sort of growing and then sort of blowing in the wind like so so yeah very very helpful tip i hope this has helped you out guys um obviously it's going to uh, you know add a little bit of depth to um you you know a scene that you're actually creating uh within your within your production um and first obviously you know like the um you know the water effects and you know fluid stuff like that it is really really fantastic uh, sort of part of uh, Maya so if we sort of bring it up like that and then just re-render you'll be able to see it only takes a couple of minutes to do it and as you can see it's given us a really sort of nice grass look so guys again I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial thanks for listening guys and I'll see you in the next video take care guys